Hey, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to recreate this Rocket the Raccoon costume inspired by the movie Guardians of the Galaxy. So to begin this Rocket mask, you're going to first need a frame. So you're gonna have to get creative and build your own frame. I used malleable pieces of plastic to build off of, but I'll post other options in the description box as well as direct links to shop everything I mentioned in this video. You can see here on the side, I also noted the measurements of my face and head, and I also sketched out the idea that I was going for. So using the measurements of my own noggin, I'm going to create the frame. So I'm using, again, just really easy to bend plastic with hot glue, and to keep the shape while I'm working, I'm also just going to use some pipe cleaners. You can also use rubber bands, but this just keeps the shape in place while you're building on top, and then you can easily remove it later on. Another easy idea would be to use just the Eva foam strips, a headband, a hat, just pretty much anything that'll help you create a frame or a base to build on top of. So I did also end up using some of the Eva foam pieces here, which again, you could use entirely rather than using the plastic pieces, but you get the idea. You're just gonna create a frame. And it doesn't have to look pretty, it just has to serve its purpose. <laughs> so don't worry about the way it looks. You can cover it with glue, tape, however you need to construct it and keep it together. So you should end up with something that sort of looks like this, of course, with the measurements using your own face and head. It also could be easier if you have someone to help you. So if you wanna use someone else's head as a guide or maybe someone else can help you while putting it on your own head. I just did this in my garage with a mirror, so. <laughs> whatever works for you. Then you're gonna use smaller sheets of foam or if you just wanna go with the masking tape, that's also up to you, but this is just going to create that first base to work off of and it'll just give the overall added stability to the mask rather than just having the fur directly by itself on the frame. Again, this part will be covered up and hidden so the color and pattern or whatever doesn't matter, but I'm just gonna use some masking tape and hot glue to form this around the frame then you can start to add more detail following those same steps with the tape and or foam pieces. So you can see I'm starting to round out the mouth area, the forehead and eyes, and even the ears. For the eyes themselves, I was going to add another set of eyes and I did actually make a pair of eyes, but honestly, it just looked so creepy. So I decided to skip that step and leave it out. A really cool idea would be to get a pair from like a taxidermy place though, or if you do want to make your own, feel free, but I ended up just making these eye holes and leaving it as is. So for the eye holes to cover up my own eyes, but to be able to see, I used little pieces of screen, like for a front door or windows, you know? So you just cut this out to fit and it helps to create the illusion of hiding your eyes, but also creating the raccoon eyes. Then I ended up doing two layers of faux fur. So I first did a really short, like plush style fur as the base. And then I did the long ply fur over top. That again is up to you. If you just wanna do one layer, that's fine. But this will also give added stability. It also helped me to figure out the color placement. So I did use a mix of different colors, which again will be listed down below. But I used a mix of gray, brown, and whites to create the overall look. And I used photos of actual raccoons and photos of Rocket because in some photos I found you can see more brown and in other photos you can see more gray. So that's kind of up to you and gives you the flexibility of what you would like to do. But I actually found this like perfect blend of faux fur. So that's what I used for the majority of the mask. And again, the rest of the areas I just filled in with brown and white or off-white for the added detail and expression. You can see here, I start to build that on the brow bone and around the muzzle. And to apply this, I'm just cutting it and using the hot glue and then building in layers. So the cheek area is actually multiple layers of the fur to get it to really stand out to the sides. And then other areas, I just used the long fur and trimmed it, for example, the muzzle in around the nose and mouth. Then to make the mouth, I made the mouth out of air dry clay. So this little white piece of paper here is just a piece of cardboard paper that I placed inside of the mask mouth and cut. So that way I knew the size as reference. And then just using my air dry clay, I simply built this up, creating the gums and teeth. And then just using my little sculpt tools to give more detail. Then to really build those teeth and give more of a realistic look, I actually used fake nails. So these are like fake plastic nails that you would glue on for acrylic nails, you know? So I just cut those down and then filled in any area that had more of a fang style tooth. And then a few in the front here. Then once my clay is dry, I used paint right over top and then sealed it with a clear gloss spray. To get the hair to stay in place, if it is getting a little crazy on you, you can just spritz it with some hairspray. 
For the nose, I'm going to make the nose out of liquid latex. So I first made a little border here using clay, and then I'm going to fill this up with liquid latex, which does dry clear. So once it's clear and dry, I'm just gonna peel this out from the clay and then paint black right over top. Again, both of these I just glued in with hot glue, very simple. Then for the costume, I actually ordered a kid's size. I think this was a size 10. So it didn't really fit my torso. So I ended up wearing a black bodysuit and then cut the center so it's more like a top and pair of pants. Then I just added a little belt here to keep those on and a pack. This did have some fur already added to the legs and arms, but it wasn't quite long enough, again, because it is for a child. <laughs> I added on my own using strips of the same fur we used for the face, but this time I just used some Velcro on the edge to wrap around my arms and legs to keep in place. Then I also have a link for any extras, such as the mittens here, a tail, ears, etc. So check that out if you want more ideas on how to make your own. My boyfriend and I decided to be Rocket and Groot from the movie. I also have a full tutorial on how to create Groot. If you are interested in that, I'll post a link for that tutorial in the description box. So that's everything for how I made my rocket costume. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any other questions, be sure to check out the description box or comment below. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. As always, thank you guys so much for watching and for all your support. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and a happy Halloween.